Hey, Alexia. Hey, Foster. Are you ready to do the episode about our job interview thing? Yes, I am. I'm very excited. Do you think anyone's actually going to want to work with us? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm not super confident. Bom, eu vou falar agora o quão é importante você saber inglês para conseguir um emprego hoje em dia, né? A gente sabe muito bem que no Brasil a segunda língua é sempre escolhida pelas pessoas é o inglês. E o inglês é como se fosse uma coisa fundamental para qualquer tipo de trabalho hoje em dia. Principalmente com o mercado se abrindo lá fora, enfim. Não vamos entrar nesse tipo de assunto, não é mesmo? Mas uma das vantagens que você tem com o Cambly é de ter um professor 24 horas por dia. Então, se você tiver uma entrevista de emprego amanhã e que parte da entrevista é em inglês, vá lá no Cambly e treina com o professor ou com a professora. Vai ser ótimo. Explica para a pessoa que você precisa treinar muito, muito entrevista de emprego em inglês. Então, isso é maravilhoso. E não se enganem, porque a entrevista de emprego aqui no Inglês de Negro também vai ser em inglês. Então, se vocês quiserem treinar para isso, vá lá no Cambly.com ou no aplicativo do Cambly. Teste uma aula de graça com o nosso código Inglês de Negro Podcast. Tô esquecendo alguma coisa, Fausto? Nope. All good. Ok, so now on with the show. Let's get on with the show. Hello, sweet people. Welcome to episode 301 of... English no Cru Hachu. So, Alexia, yesterday we talked about the idea that we want to bring someone on the team. Yes, yes. So, I was hoping that people would be so interested and sending me a lot of messages. And I got some messages, but I told them, wait, because today we are going to answer a lot of their questions. Yeah, so, we really did not give any information no. <laughs> yesterday because we talked too much. So today, let's try to get down to business. So, Alexia, let's talk about the job. Do you yeah. want to, I don't know, ask me some questions and I can explain in more detail what we were thinking about? Yeah. So, what is the job and what is the position? Ooh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Initially, in the first place, we are planning on contracting or hiring two people to help us transcribe our podcast episodes. So we are calling this job English No Cru Apprentice because the idea is first you will start with the transcriptions and then work for 30 days. After 30 days, if we are impressed with your work, we will bring you on as a more permanent member of the team, and you will grow in that position. So the starting point is with transcriptions. Um, but after that, there is a lot of potential for growth. So I think I already said a lot of things, but what will this person do, like the responsibilities? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know if I answered that. To be very specific, so here is how I imagine this in my head. I don't know if it is going to work this way, but I imagine some crazy people will apply for this job because they like us and they want to improve their English and they want to learn about how to teach English online and all of these different things. I don't know why people will apply, but maybe some people will apply. We will choose the best two people and then those two people for one month, their responsibilities will be to do five transcriptions a week so that is 20 transcriptions a month but you don't have to do them every day if you want to do five on friday that's cool if you want to do two on tuesday and three on thursday that's cool as well all we are asking for are five high quality accurate transcriptions per week yeah it's so Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking about the qualifications for this person. Mm, yeah. So this might sound like a typical um, like job posting that you see on LinkedIn or something, but it's really not because change é o inglês no grupo. But so the first qualification is you have to have an advanced level of English. So 
transcription is not easy. No, it's not easy at all. Yeah. So you will be transcribing conversations that are full of slang, informal vocabulary, colloquial expressions, crazy stuff that we say. So your English has to be good, real good. Yeah. That's number one. And number two? I think the second most important thing for me would be attention to detail. And that really sounds like a LinkedIn posting. But with transcribing things, with transcriptions, accuracy and really paying close attention to what we are saying and to following the format is super, super important, right? We want these to be 100% accurate and we really are trying to make high quality resources for our students. So you can't be making sloppy mistakes. Yeah, we were talking about like this person, these two people could be superstars, right? Mm -hmm. And what do you mean with that? What do I mean by superstars? Yeah. Yeah, well, I imagine that... I mean, a lot of people listen to English no Rádio. I imagine out of that huge group of people, there are some superstars. I'm And talking about people that this is just the absolute perfect job for them. So what qualities might make you a superstar? Number one, if you already have experience with transcription, that is a big bonus because there is a relatively steep learning curve with transcription. It requires a lot of patience, attention to detail. So if you have already transcribed things in the past, that's a big thumbs up for you. And what else? What else for superstar qualifications? Yeah. Yeah. Two things I think are really important. First, if you have experience working remotely, that is awesome. Yeah, so Foster and I will be in a different time zone as well. So this person will have, will have to deal with some difference with this. It's not like in Brazil, right? Like the same schedule, the same thing. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people have the idea of working from anywhere in the world from your laptop is just, oh, you're a podcaster. That sounds <laughs> awesome. You're just sitting in bed with dogs all day. Fun fact, Alexia is sitting <laughs> in bed with a dog right now, but working remotely requires a lot, a lot of self-discipline. You have to be your own boss, and it's hard. It really requires a strong work ethic. It's something that I have been developing and still trying to cultivate, and I've been doing this for like seven or eight years now. So it's not for everyone. If you have work remotely before that's definitely a positive and last but not least i would love to have someone work with us that is a fan of english no Cru. yes or a student even better because we are creating these resources for listeners of english no Cru Haju. so if you already listen to the show and like what you do if you understand what lose well means mm -hmm. if you are on team foster <laughs> no, if you are on <laughs> Team Alexia as well. It doesn't matter. If you're on one of the teams, <laughs> that's also a bonus. <laughs> okay, so why should this person apply for this job? Well, it depends. First of all, it's really cool to work with us, I think. We are cool people. Yeah, I think there are a lot of benefits to this kind of job. First, like we were talking about working remotely, is cool. I mean, if you are the kind of person that has the discipline to work remotely, you can literally work from anywhere. You don't have to work from 9 to 5 p.m. every day. Yeah, we just need you to deliver what we asked at the date that we are going to um, schedule. Yeah, that's got, it. You got to meet deadlines, but yeah. it doesn't matter if you work on Saturday nights at 3 a.m. from your bed, we or don't if care. you go to a co-working, we don't care as yeah. long as you get your work done. And we love deadlines. I am a person who loves deadlines, so. Yeah, yeah, Alexia is better than that. 
<laughs> Better at that than me. <laughs> and okay, the most important part. What are the benefits? Yeah, so I think we're already talking about one of the benefits, working from anywhere. That's awesome. Something else that I think is really cool. F uh, working from anywhere and the time that they want as well. So Yeah. Yeah, total flexibility. No office here, literally. We, <laughs> <laughs> we don't have an office. <laughs> <laughs> Our office is normally a stranger's house with a dog in it. Something that I think is super cool that I wish I had this opportunity like five or six years ago is simply the potential to grow with a small company that you believe in. So initially, this position will be a 30-day apprenticeship. During the first 30 days, you will get paid. You'll be financially compensated depending on your level of experience. And then after 30 days, if we like your work, if you do good work and we're impressed with you, we will offer you a more permanent position, more responsibilities. And then after that, really, it, it's up to you, you know? We have a lot of projects. We're constantly producing new courses, creating new materials. So you would get to grow with us, which is kind of cool. Yes, sir. That's right. I think that any kind of job, you should do the best, right? Like, even though for now it's only 30 days, imagine how much you could learn in 30 days in English, working with us. We are very different from any other people working, that's for sure. And, of course, you need to have an advanced level of English, but Foster will be here to help you out if you don't get a word, if you don't understand the meaning. Of course, this happens, so don't think that this won't happen. He and I will help you out whenever <laughs> you want. And I love to teach people how to work with us and like to manage. So yeah. I'm very well, excited. You've never, technically, you've never done that yet with us. Ah, with us. I've done that a lot before. Yeah. Yeah. But the way I imagine it, imagine in a normal company, if you get like an internship at a normal company, let's say a bank in Brazil. It's like, oh, for six months, you work for really not much money at all, and you don't like your job, you're getting coffee for people and stuff. Six months after that, then you get to start answering emails, answering the phone. A year after that, you have like an entry-level position. Still don't really make any money, still doing boring work. Maybe 30 years after that, you're like a senior vice president. <laughs> Whatever. That career path, I think, is crazy. And what I imagined for English New Crew, you can start as a 30-day trial apprentice. And in one year, you could be the number three person at English New Crew running marketing, content production. <laughs> I don't know. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Making Foster appear on Instagram. I would love that. Ooh, if some... <laughs> yeah. I would love that. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's it, right? Um, how this person should apply? Uh, Alexia. How, what? We have a question word. How should this person apply? And then immediately after we have a verb. How should this person apply? Yes. If you are applying, you are going to have to deal with that a lot, <laughs> which is good for you. You should apply. Just go to EnglishNewCrew.com. You should find it there. Or if you want to go directly to the application, just go to EnglishNewCrew. Baja jobs and there is here on the show notes of this episode so you just click there yeah you can probably just give a little click in your podcast app yeah okay so go to this link apply for the job i'll start to get all the applications and then we are gonna meet foster and i to choose the persons that we want to interview by skype zoom whatever and that's it oh I thought we were going to fly them to the U.S. for free. To the U.S.? I don't get that for free. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Everything will be virtual. Okay. If you're interested in 
working with us, go to English No Crew and you can go to, directly to the application, EnglishNoCrew.com, Baja Jobs. Alexia, I think that is it for today. On Monday, we will be back just talking about normal English stuff <laughs> because I am tired of talking about ourselves. Okie dokie. So I'll see you soon. See you soon, guys. Keep up the good fight. Happy Friday. Go as well. Bye. Hey, Lexi. Hey, Foster. You are continue doing that, right? <laughs> yeah. You know how right now we're not accepting new students for sound school? Uh huh. So we don't really have like a cool thing to say at the end of the show. Uh huh. So I just wanted to talk about a couple of cool things for this job position. Mm. So one of the cool things, something that I would have really appreciated maybe five or six years ago in my life, is really having a mentor in things that I was interested in. So for example, you'll be working directly with us. So if you're interested in teaching, we can help you. If you're interested in teaching online, making money online, we're still figuring that out, but we can definitely <laughs> put you on the right path. If you want to start a podcast, we got you covered. Yes. So, I mean, it's the best deal ever. And if, I love deals. If you want to learn how to travel the world almost for free and take care of dogs, we can point you in the right direction. Yes, exactly. Okay, sweet people. Talk to you soon. Bye.